Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. There is nothing they can do. Where are they going to look for job? There is no job. What do you want to do? You tell them go and farm, you will not give them fertilizer. If you give them fertilizer, you will not give them fertilizer in time. In time. You carry all the money and send it abroad. Believe me, you, you are going to die before you eat that money. Idiots. Fools. Fools. Civil servants are crying. You increase the tariff, you don't increase the salary. Petrol is that one is like gold in Zambia. If you manage to buy petrol, you are rich. Everything in Zambia is up. Everything in Zambia is increased. Everything is increased. Civil servants are crying day and night. They don't have the motivation to go and work because they are working for peanuts. They are working, they can't even pay their children's school fees. Believe me. They are waking. They can't wake up and feel the desire to go and work. Because you are not motivating them. You are, you are just looting everything. Together with your, 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 your best friends. And taking it abroad. Even if you, you, want, you want to loot. Why not loot that money and invest it in your country? Use it and build textile in your country. Use it and build industries in your country. Use it and build plants in your country. So that those people you are stealing from will go and work from there and benefit from what you are stealing. You can't do it. You steal it, you take it away. If I talk, you tell me, are you a Zambian? Are you a Zambian? Talk about Nigeria. Talk about, that's what PF say. That's what every PF person say. I don't care. I am an African. I lived in Zambia. I have so many children in Zambia. I have so many people that love me in Zambia. And I cannot live and watch them suffer under a digalungu. It, it's not possible. It's not possible. And uh, as we are talking, you, you wrote a stupid letter to my, to my embassy. And I, I'm, I'm receiving a call. See, Awan, we want, we want to negotiate a meeting between you and the PF. Even if I don't believe everything written in the Bible, but I believe that word that says light and darkness has nothing in common. I will never have a meeting with the PF until next year when they lose the election. I can have a meeting with them. Now, I can't. Over my dead body. Over my dead body. Even if you want to go and tell my president, call my, what is my embassy? You, you, you are not even talking to the right embassy. You are talking to my embassy in Zambia. What has my embassy in Zambia have to do with me? They don't have jurisdiction over me. Let me educate you. If you want to talk to me, if you want them to talk to me, speak to my embassy here in South Africa. Let, let me sit down with them. Let me tell them how corrupt you are. Let me tell them how useless you are, how stupid you are. They are calling me for a meeting. A meeting for what? What am I going to sit with PF to discuss? A corrupt group of people. Corrupt group of idiots. What are we negotiating? What are we talking about? Eh? You have not seen anything. I have not started talking. I am going to talk. This is just the beginning. That's why if you are watching this video, make sure that you are sharing it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. So that they will hear it. Yeah. When I when I was the first time I was starting in 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 February, I told you that when I start with you, even if you want to go and bring Jesus, he will not save you. You thought I was joking. If Jesus will not save you, what is American? What is Nigerian embassy? 
I'm telling you, even if you bring you call my president, President Muhammad Buhari, he calls me to that and says, see, Awan, I want you to sit down with uh, PF and the talk. I will tell him, President, light and darkness has nothing in common to share. Especially those guys are down. They can't sit with an intellectual like me. What are we going to be discussing? They don't know nothing. If they sit with me, they will say, see, Awan, we are going to give you 10 million so that you stop talking. That's the only thing. That is, there is nothing good that we are going to discuss in that meeting. So I'm not going to have any meeting with them. This useless letter you wrote and make them to call me and start calling for a meeting is a useless. It's idiotic. I will not stop talking. And not even talking. I am talking and I'm working. Edgar Lungu, I want you in court, in international criminal court. I want them to hear between me and you. Let us talk. Let us sit down and talk. Forget about talking to my embassy. I have received their phone calls for a meeting so that you can, you can see me and the PF can sit and talk and negotiate. I will not negotiate anything. I will not. I will not. I, I don't negotiate with idiots. I don't negotiate with people that don't have senses. The only senses they have is money, 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 money. No. Money is not everything. Money is not everything. I take money from you, like I take two, two, 200 million from you today, I keep quiet. Generation will perish in Zambia. What shall you profit me? I don't believe in, in everything that is written in the Bible, but I believe that what shall you profit a man to gain the whole world and lose the soul? I don't also talk about hellfire, but it's very important. It's very, very important that we know that money is vanity. It's vanity upon vanity. It's something that is not something that can make a whole seer one to sit down with PF and discuss. I told you before, I don't, I don't lie. I don't make mistake in my word. I don't change my word. I told you anything I say is happening. When I say that PF is going to be confused beyond what is happening in PF today, is it possible that a whole government will receive bicycle and they don't know where they receive it from? This one is saying different thing. That one is saying different thing. Is it possible? I told you. I told you that we have planted confusion there. And this is just the beginning. Everything I tell you is what I do. I don't just talk. I'm not a regular prophet. I am a traditional prophet. Having my roots from Godfather that give me power so that whatever I say, I do it. I told you that when I start with you, even if you bring Jesus, you are not going anywhere. Then you run to my embassy. If Jesus will not save you from this thing, then, then why, what, why, why, what, why, are, why are you bothering my embassy? I have already said it. The fight, the battle between me and PF is a personal battle. It's not between Nigeria and Zambia. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to involve my country with what is happening between me and PF government. No. My, the fight is not even between me and Zambia. I love Zambia. I love Zambia so much. It's unfortunate that my leg will never step in Zambia because I've already sworn using the name of Godfather, who is the person that I respect so much. And the one that can kill me today. And give me life today. I've already sworn to say I'm not going to come to Zambia. I love Zambia. Too much. There is no country on earth that I love more than I love Zambia. Zambia was like a home to me. Zambia was like a house to me. I love it. My fight is not between me and Zambia. My fight is between me and PF. PF have threatened me. They said they are going to send... I, I, I have the record. We are going to send tag and snipers to shoot you. But they are afraid. They know that uh, I, we, are, we are waiting for them. <laughs> we are waiting for... I'm in Limpopo here. Anywhere you go, ask where is here. Go to police station. Go to army. Go anywhere. If you're on the road, ask them where is here. They will bring you to where I am. Come and shoot me now. We are waiting for you. Boma Lusambo threatened to beat me up. I, I, up to now, we are waiting for him. I, we can't see him.
<laughs> he has run, coward. <laughs> fear, fear, human being. <laughs> fear, fear, PF. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Come here. I teach you a lesson. So I said I'm not coming there. I'm not coming to Zambia. Zambia, I'm, I love you from far. And I will always love you from far. But the battle I'm fighting is to make sure that everyone in Zambia is liberated from the Chinese from Eddie Galungu, from Boman Losambo, from Dora Celia, from corruption. That's what I'm fighting. So I've told the Nigerian government, I said, I don't need your protection. I can protect myself. <laughs> if it's spiritually, what, who is, who, who, when you talk about spiritual, you talk about Godfather. It's number one in Africa. It doesn't have competition. So if you are coming spiritually, it's okay. You are welcome. If you are talking about physically, like you want to come in tag way, you like the way you are saying you are going to send a, a, a tag to come and shoot me. What, what, what? I didn't tag. If you are coming, you are welcome. There is no problem. You can come. Let's see who knows how to shoot gun and who knows how to run gun. I don't do the, the toggery of uh, local champions. That toggery where you beat people on the road in Zambia. No, I don't do those things. If you want that one, you can come. Believe me, once you try it first, you are going to try. It will not work. But do you know that that is the end of your life? Even if in Zambia there, eh? boys will enter and teach you a lesson. Forget I don't photography. Photography. Everyone know me. Everyone know me in that area. Are you coming by prayer? You can pray. People send me Holy Ghost fire every day. That nothing happens. So this, my fight, I told, I told, uh, I've already told the Nigeria government, I said, look, leave me. The fight is not between you and Zambia. The fight is between me and them. Let me tell you something that, how stupid PF government is. When I was in Zambia, I was arrested several times. Sometimes they will arrest me for drug and they will put me in and they look for drug they don't find the drug they remove me they arrested me i cannot remember how many times i was arrested in zambia the last one they arrested me was they said i defiled a girl see i want us defiled a girl i was in my house doing my own business i just saw police police came and carried me from my house and put me in a kabwata prison they didn't tell me what I did. This is the only useless government on earth that can arrest somebody without proper investigation. This is the only useless government on earth that arrests somebody without even a crime. When they arrest you, that's when they start searching for a crime. <laughs> I, they arrested me and put me in Kabwata police station. I stayed in Kabwata police station for complete five good days. My embassy sent a representative to Kabata police station. Go there. The record is there. What did the CIA want do? According to law, you are supposed to take him to court within 48 hours so that he go and prove his innocence. Why are you detaining him here? Five good days. They did not listen to my embassy. They did not listen to my embassy. They did not listen to my embassy. They kept quiet. They pretended like they didn't hear my embassy. My embassy cried to Kabwata police station, release your one or take him to court. They said no. Five good days. I stayed there. If you didn't listen to my embassy when I was in Zambia, you treated me like a fool. It, now you have run to my embassy to look for negotiation so that I can sit with you and talk. You are idiots. I don't talk with fools. All of you are illiterate. I don't mean educational illiterate, but you, you, you are morally bankrupt. You don't have wisdom. How am I going to sit? Okay, who am I going to sit and negotiate with? Bowman Lusambo. He doesn't, he doesn't understand English. He doesn't even know anything. How am I going to sit with him and talk? Who am I going to sit with and talk? Dora Celia. She don't know nothing. Which one am I going to sit with and negotiate? Eh? Eh? This is the same tactics they used on me. Five good days in, 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 in police cell. I did nothing. 
and they took me to court. Started taking me every day. I didn't see the girl. They say, see, I want the foul. I didn't see any girl until they say, oh, no, you are, you are, you are innocent. You can go. <laughs> I look at them, I laugh. <laughs> Youths of Zambia, be ready to go to police station. Don't be shaking. I was going into police station daily. I was, in fact, I, I started missing going inside the police station. It doesn't shake anybody. Going to police station and coming out is not a big deal. It's not a big deal. They did it to me. And that's what they are doing to Chela now. I'm telling you. Before Chela was uh, arrested, one day he called me and uh, I told him, the battle you have started, prepare to go into prison. Prepare to die for your people. The battle you have started, prepare yourself. And he said, I'm prepared. It's better I die for my It's better I die for my children to have a better future. That's why they are moving Chela up and down. Who is Chela? Ordinary Chela. Look at, look at Chela. Look at Chela. Ordinary Chela of yesterday. Ordinary cameraman. That is the person they are moving up and down. V, 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 V. The people that looted millions. The people that are going through investigation, according to ACC, Chilufia Chitalo, is moving freely on the street. It's moving freely on the street. But Chelada just spoke words in South. If in South was a big crime, then Dorasilia should have been in prison by now, snoring in prison. Bowman Lusambo, who slapped Kambuiri, was supposed to be in prison, snoring in prison. The justice of Zambia favors those that are in power, which, which is what I call useless justice. Which is what I call useless justice. Which is what I call on, on foolish justice. <laughs> Somebody say, Papa, your cook. <laughs> Thank you, please. <laughs> you know, I'm so upset today. <laughs> I'm so upset that I even forgot about Coca-Cola. <laughs> Use of Zambia, don't be intimidated. Eddie Galungu, you are watching me today. You we are too quick. Your police, we are too quick to arrest Jela. Your police, we are too quick to go and the... And the a, a look for Bifro. What Bifro doesn't have a gun? A, a, your your police was too quick to go and look for a, 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 what is the name of what is the name of this one? A, 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 a Pilato. Harmless people. Your police went with the machine gun and look for them. Edgar Galunga up to today, we don't know the people behind the gassing of people of Zambia. Those are terrorists. Many people died in that gassing. Many innocent people were killed. Mob justice, they were killed. Police shot people during that time. Those people that were gassing your country, who are they? We don't know. Your police is quiet. The same way your police is quiet over 48 houses. You think that people are stupid. Look at over 9,000 people are watching me here today because they are tired of your leadership. They are Tired of the corruption in your leadership. Corrupt government. They are tired of it. They are tired of it. Where are the gassers? Those people that gas. Your party members, some of them were saying, it was a church. It was a church behind the gassing. The way I know you, Edgar. If it was Haka in the Echilema, by now. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, by now, the church was going to be already serving one year in prison. The way I know you, the way you are heartless. We are watching you. You don't want to tell us the people behind the gassing, and you want us to vote for you next year. You want to carry Bible and deceive us. You want to post scripture on your wall. Heartless human being. Unappreci unappreciative human being. Chameleon. In face, laughing, in heart, devil. You people call me Satanist. The PF leadership, they call me Satanist. 
together with that idiot you created the ministry for that Usmaili. You they she call me a Satanist. But all of you are the Satan. The Satan that we are seeing today is PF. A party that humiliates people. A party that have destroyed Zambia beyond recognition. You call me Satanist, but you are the Satanist. Because your heart is evil. Honorable Yaluma went and they spoke tribal, tribal remark. Your party members are speaking tribal remark. And they are walking free. But Chela just insulted somebody. And he's been carried up and down. Police is moving him up and down. Like he's a, he's a, he's a terrorist. We are watching you. Youths of Zambia are watching you. They are going to show you. I'm telling you, they are going to show you. Go, you are going to eat pepper soup next year. <laughs> uh, how many youths are there in Zambia? How many youths are there in Zambia? Millions. Youths of Zambia. You've seen that they have said uh, a registration of voters card is just one month. It's okay. Don't deny Immediately they announce, go in groups, go in number, register, and have your NRS. Next year, because you are crying, and they are sending police to you, next year they must cry. They must cry. Papas and mamas, youths, start telling your papas and mamas what is happening in Lusaka. I want to tell you, all those people in the rural areas, they have people in the urban areas. Start telling them what is going on. Let them not, if they go and give them milli meal, let them take and eat, but don't vote for them. If they give them chitenge, let them wear, but don't give, don't give, don't vote for them. If they give them money, let them take. It's their money, but don't vote for them. The same way Arabi was done that type of system. That is the way Edgar Lungu will receive his own. Edgar Lungu has done Zambia what no government on earth has done to his country. A, a, a country where a, a country where very population, 18 million people only, and Edgar Lungu cannot give them a stable electricity. Only 18 million people. Here in South Africa, there is more than 80 million people and there is stable electricity. When there is load shedding, they tell you to take one hour and one hour is done. Electricity tariff is very cheap here. We buy, we stay. But look at the population. Only 18 million people. Ed Galung is failing to provide electricity. Ed Galung, you are telling the youth to go and look for opportunity. If they find shops, which electricity are they going to use to trade? You have killed the economy. You have killed the electricity, and then you are you are saying, uh, uh, "I went to I went to Karibadam or what? What? It's going to take nine weeks for water to move from for water to move from here to go here, so that load shedding will stop. Nine weeks. How many weeks do we have today? Father of liar, <laughs> chief liar, <laughs> Li liar, liar, liest. <laughs> you eat lying like food. <laughs> Papa of lie. <laughs> if you are a pastor or a prophet, you are going to be a Pentecostal pastor or prophet because they lie too much. Papa of liars. Nine weeks today, there is still load shedding in Zambia. My children call me. They say, Papa, there is no electricity. <laughs> Eddie Galung, the money that you said on that audio that leaked, the money that you said your leaders are depositing in the account. Why not arrest them? Bring that money and develop your country. Is that, is that too big? That's why I call you Papa of Liar. <laughs> Chief Liar. <laughs> and you think you can tell my embassy to negotiate a meeting. <laughs> you are fools. <laughs> I don't meet with fools. I don't talk with... I, I, I only... When you see me sit down and talk, I talk with intellectuals. Anything I do, I do it with intellectuals. I don't talk with cadres, cadres that have destroyed the country beyond repair, cadres that does not use their brain. Election is one year ahead. Today you are campaigning. You are behaving like you are in opposition. <laughs> you are you are. You are behaving like an opposition. You don't believe that you are already in power. 
<laughs> you are panicking, but you are in power. <laughs> you are panicking, but you are in power. That even ordinary youths, youths like Biflo, youths like uh, like uh, like uh, uh, youths like Biflo, youths like Pilato, harmless youths, youths like uh, uh, Capasso, youths like uh, this. Young children, they even intimidate you that you have to go inside your carcass and bring out the biggest police officers <laughs> because you are shaking. <laughs> you know that you are going. <laughs> and you are fat to go and cry to my embassy. <laughs> cry, cry, babies. <laughs> cry, cry. <laughs> Talk to Sia One. <laughs> Tell I want to stop insulting our president. I don't insult your president. I tell you what he is. <laughs> it will not save you. Even Jesus, it will not save you. Because even Jesus is angry with you. Even, even Satan himself is angry with you. Demons are even angry with you. Angels are angry with you. Everything is against you. Satan is against you. Everyone is against you. Everything is against you. What else do you want? Chief liar. <laughs> you have now the you have now the you have now the the, the you have now the, the you have now the the title that I'm I'm giving you chief liar. You lie to people. You think that you have how many people are watching me here today? Over nine thousand people. By the time we are reaching tomorrow, this thing will reach millions of Zambians. They are watching from all over the world. They are watching me. Get ready to leave the office next year because you have destroyed everything completely. You have destroyed. And I must tell you this. When somebody wants to cry, scientifically is proven. Medically is proven. Anytime somebody wants to cry, or anytime somebody wants to talk, give them opportunity to cry. Because when they cry, they feel better. Edgar Lungu, I'm talking to you. I know that you don't have you don't have advisors. The advisors that are advising you, they have made you pompous. They have made you think that you are almighty. They have made you think like you are Nebuchadnezzar. No. Anytime people want to cry. Allow them to cry because when somebody cries, they feel better. Anytime somebody wants to speak, allow them to speak because when they speak, they feel better. You see, Zambian youth want to cry. They have been trying to cry. They have been, they have been trying to cry, but you are closing their mouth. You are suppressing that cry. Eddie Galungu, allow them to cry so that they can feel better. You are killing them. When somebody wants to cry, believe me, this thing is scientifically proven. Google it. Check it everywhere. When somebody wants to cry or want to complain, give them opportunity. When they cry, they feel better. Youths of Zambia have been trying to cry. They are trying to cry. The first time they try to cry, you sent them, uh, 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 what is the name of that, your, your special advisor? What is his name? Uh, so, Chris. Chris Zumani. You sent Chris Zumani to them. Who is Chris? What is Chris? Who is Chris? Chris is not their father. Chris was also a disgruntled youth. Chris was also complaining. On his Facebook, he was even calling you a playboy. Today, he has sold this moral because of one rant, two rant. He has sold this moral. And you sent the Chris to go and listen to the youth. Who is Chris? Your children are crying. They want to speak out something to you. You suppress them. You use the police to suppress them. Next week, next year, you will see who the police are. I'm telling you, you will see. I believe that day during the election, there will be no there will be nobody telling them who to vote. You will cry. <laughs> you will cry. You want to run to the ladies. First of all, you want to say, it's the Aka in the HLMA who is engineering the youth. Where you have lost it is because you are fighting with the youth of Zambia, not UPND youth or NDC youth. Youths of Zambia, I'm saying youths 
of Zambia. Those are the people you are fighting with, not you, PND. <laughs> That's where you have messed up. <laughs> read the line. <laughs> Just read the line and see for yourself that you have messed up. You have messed up the youth. Now you want to run to the women. Our youth must respect the women. They respect the women. Who they don't respect is somebody like Darasilia. Darasilia don't deserve respect. She's morally bankrupt. When she was giving Satamido finger, what was she thinking? You respect the elders. The elders is a, a, a Lusambo. Lusambo. Who slapped Kambuiri. Eh? What you do to others, others will do it to you. Life is a seed. Any seed you sow, you will reap it. They respect. You want to run to, to, to women. Let's respect and empower our women. Five good years in power. Six good years in power. What did you do for the women? I don't want to start uh, talking about the women. Let's finish with the youth. Leave the women alone. You have killed their businesses. Most of those women, they trade from the bars. They trade from the bars. They trade from, from restaurant. Their businesses are dead. Some of them work in the bar. They are calling. They are, they are writing me. They are, they, are, they, are, they are always complaining to me. Their businesses are dead. Schools are open. They don't have money to pay their children's school fees. What you did was to rush and open a casino. Open big, big bars for foreigners. And they are benefiting. And your people are suffering. Shame on you. Shame on you. Let's, not, let's forget about the, the ladies. Those ones, their cry is too much. You have killed their market. The money that they're supposed to use is being looted and sent abroad. Tell me one thing that is well in Zambia now. Everyone is crying. And you want to run to the women. Run to the women also. And then I start talking to the women. I remind them all the fake promises you made to them when you were taking over power. You come today, you talk about, I've made road. Road for what? Road for how much? The road whose price is exaggerated. From one road, few people have become millionaires and that man is moved abroad. You think that we are not wise. You think that we are fool. You think you can fool us. How much does that road cost? How was the tender procedure done? If you make road, I'm telling you, I'm putting it to you and your government. If you make road, it's so costly. You have become wealthy from that same road that we are talking about. E, 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 e. Selfish people, selfish individuals, selfish individuals, selfish individuals, shame on you, shame on PF, shame on you all, and those people that are supporting you, shame on you. Next year, we shall see. Ask me a question, let me answer your question. People are hungry. The youths are hungry and you are telling them that they are lazy. They must go and look for something to do. Where are they going to find it? For example, here in South Africa, there is youth empowerment. Even people that are not working, they are getting salary. People that have HIV and AIDS, they get salary for having HIV and AIDS. Here in South Africa, they get money. Corona came, they are getting money for it. In many, many other countries, there is opportunities. There is opportunities. But in Zambia, which opportunity are the youth having? You tell them to go and look for something to do. What would they do? They come to, to, to voice out. They, are, they come to voice out their cry to you. And you send the police to them. Your wisdom is shattered. Your brain has been is rotting. There is nothing remaining there again. You have become a Nebuchadnezzar of the new era. Your, your heart has been hardened and heading for destruction. There is nothing. Hmm? There is nothing. In a normal country, when you see Chela talking like that, when you see Chela voicing out like that, you can actually see that this is frustration. You, 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 this is frustration going on. You should have summoned the, the youths what is going on? Not the thing you send uh, that uh, 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 Zumani. What, who is Chris? What is Chris? You sent him to go and talk to the youth. Who is he? Youth minister. That one that is dormant there like a, like a pot of swimming pool that doesn't move up and down. Just 
is sitting on the on the on the chair doing nothing. You sent him to go and talk to the youth. The youth want to talk to you as the president because when you were looking for vote, you didn't send Chris Zumani. You didn't send the uh, Emmanuel Mulenga. You went on your own. And next year you will start gallivanting with the Holy Bible again, looking for the people to 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 to, to swindle. Thank God, do as I say, it's no longer in Zambia. Everybody's eyes open. They are watching you. They are watching you. It cannot happen again. You have destroyed the country completely. I remember when I just came to South Africa. When I received, uh, I, when I received money from Zambia. By the time Commander One, my son, was sending me some of my money in Zambia. If it comes here, it's big, it's huge. Rand was nowhere near, near Kwacha. Today, you have destroyed it. Today, Rand is trading at 15 to a dollar. Kwacha is trading at 18 to a dollar. What is, if Eddie Galungu use your brain and resign, use your brain and resign, resign with dignity because you have failed. Now you are forcing B10, eh? going from chief to chief, forcing B10, doing campaign when campaign has not even started. Eh? Doing campaign, campaign has not started. You go here, you gather people in number, and tomorrow you come and announce that people are dying in Corona. Who are you cheating? Do you think that Zambian people are not watching? They are watching. During the time of MMD, things were not even bad like this, but people removed a, a, a Rupia Banda and put a man that everybody was afraid of. People were saying Sata was a Satanist. He will bring homosocia. People closed their ears and voted for him because they were tired of MMD. But then we are okay during MMD. Imagine now that you have destroyed Zambia completely. Who do you think will vote for you? Even your wife will not vote for you. Resign. I'm telling you, I'm giving you advice as a brother. Resign. You have destroyed the country. Resign. It's time. Okay. Uh, thank you for opening our eyes. Of course, everybody in Zambia today is awake. Mm. Prophet anointed Bernard Siame said, Papa, speak about B10. Of course. Why are they talking about B10, B10, B10? What is special? Why, if B10 is so important, why not keep it after election? Then you introduce it. Eh? After election, if it's so nice, keep it after election, introduce it. No, you are busy negotiating the who will vote for you, who will vote for you. <laughs> ah, idiotic government. <laughs> Edgar, Edgar Lung, next year, you will not even get 30%. <laughs> You will not get 30%. Believe me, there is no normal human being in Zambia that will rise up and vote for and vote for. Even the men of God that you paraded, you paraded them and you say, uh, 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 the men of God are speaking. They want to be 10. Which men of God? Those idiots are the people you call men of God. Hungry people. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.